Blessings, beloved. In this section, we are going to explore polarizing positive, using divine neutrality as a mastery skill to get our fields and our consciousness to polarize positive, to shift completely to a light-based, pure light-based, heart-based intelligence. Now, the natural state of our ascended beingness is consistently maintaining that field of light where the shadow is recognized, but you're making a choice to not engage. It doesn't mean rejecting it, bypassing it, etc. All of those New Age beliefs about the impossibility of living life without shadow, we're just going to wash that away because as we move into higher and higher states of consciousness and light and those of you who are having interaction with being star families, masters who have made that choice and have then polarized their fields to the positive consistent flow of pure source consciousness, you're going to recognize this mastery. You're going to recognize the capability of the divine human to carry that level of Christ light and that Christ presence. Now, polarizing positive sounds like a polarization, right? It's actually just a choice to allow divine neutrality, to consecrate the fields, to qualify all the light that emanates through you, through the heart stargate, through the source point, the zero point that is held within the temple, to be able to consistently produce Christed qualified light, to be able to consistently produce higher choices, choices in align, alignment with divine will and that divine neutral, uh, neutrality state that is pure source consciousness. So in this module, we're going to go really deep into this. And the reason why <laughs> I've been mentioning divine neutrality since 2011 when I first received it is because it does change you. It changes your life stream. It changes your choices. It's not about stepping away. There is surrender involved, but it's surrender to this higher state of beingness. So for complete clarity, Let's go step by step about what divine neutrality is, is not, and then how to consistently polarize positive. Now that positive polarization is something that's mentioned in the Law of One and a lot of other channelings uh, about how to get into the state of divine beingness. So we really want to embrace this part of the process and then allow ourselves to take a look at where we can use it in our own life stream so that it becomes completely entrained into our way of beingness on our journey to the presence. Blessings, beloved. Let us dig into polarizing positive. So what does this mean exactly? We're talking about implementing divine free will. That's quantum free will. You may have heard me speak of that before, but it's this next level of free will that involves the Aquarian age, the ascension, the consideration of benefiting the whole across the realms. So it's not just looking at the planetary experience. It's looking at the entire solar system, the entire galaxy. It's a quantum free will, which considers the results of everyone's actions. So it's a different level of consciousness, a different level of existence that we're going into in the galactic experience, as well as right here on the planet. So in order for that to unfold across the realms here on Gaia, we start implementing this quantum free will. And we get there by implementing the cosmic law of oneness, love, and freedom in alignment with the positive use of life force, which I keep revisiting that right use of life force, because that is the deal for our next level of consciousness, for the new earth consciousness. 
And that just means alignment with source. So the I am presence is free to flow, free to flow right through all the vessels on the planet. Now, this is considers the highest choice for ascension of the collective in this now. So when we're taking a look at what is the highest unfoldment for ascension, it's consistently leveling up now, and it is changing. So a lot of the parameters that we put around our ascension process 100 years ago, 50 years ago, even 10 years ago, are starting to up-level. So it's the completion of suffering or negative polarization as a way to learn or grow or motivate ascension. So the belief system that the only kind of growth can is uh, amplified through suffering is no longer true. So now our growth comes from engaging with a positive polarization, the proper use of life force. Now, why polarize positive? Well, first and foremost, it utilizes the higher frequencies of the photon belt that we happen to be moving through right now. So you may as well use the positive energy that's coming in right now in order to change our consciousness, change our vessel. The destructive and negative forces that have been controlling and manipulating a good deal of consciousness on the planet are finite. It's good to remember that destructive or negative particles, negative energies will destroy themselves with the amplification of positively charged particles, plasma, frequencies, and the embodiment of that higher Christ consciousness. Just something to keep in heart as we go through this shift. So negative particles and frequencies do dissolve, and life forms must polarize positive or cease to exist, period. That's just the way it is. The energy that we're moving through transforms the entire planetary structure as well as the bandwidths for what kind of an experience you can have in these realms. Now, it does take time for density to break apart, obviously, All of that is really getting shaken up right now. But the acceleration brings a rapid destruction of negatively polarized beings, systems, and creations. So the path to positive includes these different frequencies. So first is a negative polarity. That would be control, manipulation, fear, greed, Hate, anger, judgment, criticism, condemnation, war, death, negative ego, worry, attachment, all of those fear dynamics, anything which decays or restricts the flow of the I am presence or source or expansion of life force is considered negative. So if you're having a hard time defining what is negative, we're talking about fear dynamics, control, manipulation, things that contract the flow of life force, because negative energy literally decays source frequencies, decays the flow of the I am presence. Now, positive energy or positive polarization are the qualities of mastery that we visited in the first module, love, freedom, expansion. And then we have this trinitized consciousness, which also contains transmutation frequencies And that's the qualities that are used to shift from one state to another, from engaging with dualistic, negative and positive, and then transmuting that into flowing into another state of consciousness altogether, which is positively polarized. That includes transmutation frequencies like compassion or understanding or healing, anything that contains that frequency of healing where it's transmuting from one state of consciousness to another, one state of magnetics to another. And this includes divine neutrality is a transmutation frequency, state, healing tool as a path to positive polarity. So following this path to the positive, we understand that energy is neutral until it's directed for creation. So zero point, 
is completely neutral until it is directed for an experience. And we have multiple levels of creation frequencies, higher dimensions, which a lot of you have had experience with, and those higher densities contain more coherent or positively charged particles, which create expansive realities like the Christed state. And you will notice that masters, star families, higher dimensional beings have that coherence, have that positive charge, that expansive charge. They are free from the contraction, from the belief, from the flow or restriction rather of the flow that negative polarity can bring. And multiple levels of creation frequencies, some of them can get extremely coherent, extremely positive charge where there's a lot of expansion, freedom to create completely different states of consciousness, which is what we're not only moving into in form, but beyond form, our higher levels are experiencing dramatic expansion of creation, dramatic expansion of possibilities. That's the shift in the entire multiverse structure. The denser levels provided the experience of duality, a choice for growth, a choice for experience. And as we leave density, negativity cannot be maintained. The negativity gets very uncomfortable. It feels unnatural. It feels inorganic because it is not our natural state. Our natural state is the Christ, is the I am presence, is that open flow of pure source consciousness. So as we leave density, that negativity is going to feel very unnatural. It's important to remember that a positive charge is the path to positive polarity, to ascension. We move beyond The balance of charges and density, duality, which is one way or the other, negative or positive, we move beyond just balancing that out, and then we use divine neutrality to shift our form and our heart to a different state of consciousness. So in the beginning, in the New Age, a lot of focus on balance, right? Balancing those two charges Now we're moving beyond that into Trinity consciousness, and we can use divine neutrality to shift our form and our heart center to become a magnetic that generates positive polarity. Now, divine neutrality itself is a core tool for divine perfection and ascension, which is the proper qualification and use of life force. Divine neutrality brings freedom. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel that Trinity consciousness where you're going to start making all of your choices based on love, on discernment of highest outcomes. You're going to feel that flow in the DNA starting to open up. You feel zero point neutrality, that birthing point as a natural starting point for all of your choices for all the flow, for everything that your life stream wants to experience. So you're no longer pulled by the external illusion into the negative. That is your freedom, that true freedom from anything uh, trying to control, manipulate, or pull you in a certain direction, or even previous creations, wounding, compounded fear constructs. You're not pulled by your previous trauma any longer. You're not building on what was. You're free. It allows the full Christ crystalline power to flow. So this is how neutrality transforms. More crystalline flow. It allows the frequency of source perfection to transmute distortion. So once you get that source flow, that I am presence flowing, you're going to notice it just dissolves that highly charged duality. Very negative, very positive. It gets very neutral, right? And it's we're talking about negative versus positive in a dualistic fashion. 
starts to really transmute that, starts to dissolve it. You return to this natural state of heart coherence when you employ divine neutrality as a method of transformation. It is a transformational step at first. Freedom from inorganic programs, negative influence, judgment, entanglement, duality itself, and that it assists the heart in becoming a magnetic stargate, a true conduit of source intent, higher frequency light, the Christ, your I am presence as director of your life stream, and then it opens new flows for the presence to create solutions, miracles, and ascension. So take a breath right now, feel into your heart center, and feel how that information, that frequency, the transmission here lands. Feel the opportunity, the possibility of more crystalline flow by backing away from dualistic thinking, from being swayed, constantly influenced, triggers, you know, all that anxiety that comes from that inorganic state of constantly keeping you in a state of anxiety so that your fears are constantly triggered or you're working from trauma or judgment. Just let it dissolve completely and just feel how that suddenly opens new flows by disengaging from those old dynamics of duality. A few key pointers. What this is not, because divine neutrality, sometimes people see neutrality and they're like, no way, I have to take action. So (laughs) this is what divine neutrality is not. It is not about opting out of choices that require attention. It is not withdrawing from the external reality. It is not stepping away from the collective. It is not about avoiding action in the highest interest. When action needs to be taken, you are there. You are present, very present with the realities that are presenting. You are using Neutrality as a way to avoid lessons, that is not divine neutrality. It is not about using neutrality as a way to avoid healing. It is not about stepping away from necessary interaction. It is not about avoiding lessons or experiences that expand your growth. It is not about using divine neutrality as an excuse to step away from service. It is not about avoiding discernment. That is not what neutrality is about. What this is, divine neutrality is a method for attaining necessary light levels, positive polarity, and heart coherence for ascension. It's a tool. It's a transformational tool. It is a vital step in releasing duality, outdated or uncomplementary realities and creations. We care, but we don't carry. Divine neutrality provides freedom from fear. So you learn that nothing in your field, that the negative ego, emotions, and mind can cling to are present any longer. You're disengaging from those fear dynamics, from being pulled into that negative polarity, and you're disconnecting from negative agendas, situations, judgment of other people's journeys, all of those negative polar polarizations that come up, which are which is just fear in action. You're disconnecting from that so that you can learn and entrain the heart, your consciousness, your thoughts to move in a different direction. Now, the benefits of engaging with divine neutrality are many, but here are some. It allows us to feel our our I am presence 
as active living light. It's easier to stand in your light in any circumstance when you practice this, when you practice taking a moment. It allows us to support positive choices and creations around our health, our abundance, our presence in the collective, very vital right now. It provides cosmic perspective and quantum consideration of the whole, which sees all path to ascension. When you're no longer swayed in one direction or the other, it allows you to take a moment. It allows you to transmute with the Christ light where your energy is being pulled or where old thought patterns, emotions, where the mind or the ego wants to steer you in a dualistic uh, or fear-based way into making decisions that may not be in the highest concerns of yourself, of others, of the whole. It's much easier to transmute those thoughts, to transmute those energies with Christ light when you're neutral rather than judging something as good or bad. It's easier to flow gratitude, which is a very high vibration that utilizes neutrality of the heart to create brand new realities. Gratitude is one of the strongest qualities of mastery that you can engage with. And it's much easier to flow gratitude when you're not judging what's going on in the external or the internal as being bad, as being good. You're just stepping away from that, getting into Christ consciousness in the heart so that we can flow some of these benefits. A few more. Once fear and negativity are neutralized, we may choose higher vibrational action, thought, word, feelings, and creations. It's slow in the beginning, and then you'll be able to feel and make wiser decisions in the moment instantly. I've called divine neutrality the ultimate shielding technique because lower vibrations, even your own ego, doesn't have access to the same pathways, to the same uh, dynamics that were kind of embedded in your old lower self. So as you shed that, when you get neutral, nothing sticks in your field, right? Because that energy is neutral until you make a choice what to do with it. So it's in a way, it's the ultimate shielding technique because energies that come at you, if you judge them as being capable of swaying you or doing something to you, you're automatically going to create that, right? So by um, practicing neutrality, your fields are able to flow that impenetrable, Christed, I am presence, that pure source light that is not affected by the lower realities or lower frequencies at all. It allows this divine neutrality, allows us to way show oneness and divine will to become that presence. Remember that miracles happen in zero point, from zero point. So it allows the miraculous to unfold. We can embrace challenges without embodying the effects. Let me say that again. We can embrace challenges, which are our natural part of what's going on here in this growth process during the ascension without embodying the effects. So we can totally appreciate what is happening. We can appreciate when things come up and things have to shift and things have to flow without embodying it being negative or positive for that matter, right? Without it, without judging it at all. We're like, okay, you kind of become good with everything that's happening. And this leads to transcendence through self-realization of you as the ultimate creator, having an experience, and then you rediscover the true self. 
levels of your true self, of your true, pure presence in these realms is going to present through divine neutrality, which is the only reason why I teach it, because it is a true tool to start uncovering transcendence, self-realization, your consistent presence of your Christ itself, of your I am, of source itself, all the time, consistently on, consistently having that presence, not just flowing through your field, but feeling it, feeling levels of your true self stepping forward by becoming neutral. So how to practice? Here are your tools. First and foremost, ask yourself in the moment, because this is a moment by moment, experience by experience process, ask yourself, what does this have to do with my journey? Because a lot of what we are presented with or what we are told to think about or told to get anxious about or told to get fearful about has nothing to do with our journey, has nothing to do with the very first things that you started with in this class, your intention your ascension process, and a lot of what's getting thrown at you or old dynamics or old beliefs or old practices or whatever it was that you have created up to this point, you have to ask yourself, what, does this have anything to do with my ascension? And most of the time, the answer is no, it's none of my business. And that's where neutrality comes in. Discernment of truths. You step back, you see the higher outcome, you see what is best for all concerned because things look like one thing, but it's actually doing something else during this phase of our ascension, what we're going through right now. So it allows us to apply unity consciousness. Always take a moment and apply pure unity consciousness rather than us versus them still duality, avoid trying to fix things, apply unity consciousness. You know, a lot of the new age phase was about trying to transmute things, trying to fix things, trying to balance things. And now we're going into a different phase where we are starting to anchor pure unity consciousness into these realms. So rather than looking through the eyes of the illusion, us versus them, the dualistic thinking, and rather than looking at everything as if you have to fix things or constantly activate things or this needs to be cleared and that needs to be cleared, that's the beginning of our ascension journey. And I want to provide a pure mastery class here. So we need to move out of that. We need to move out of that completely and start applying unity consciousness, considering the whole amplification of everything that we are doing right now. Unity consciousness is amplified to the point where everything that we do as the folks who are carrying that higher vibration affects the whole in major ways that higher frequency, which continues to grow and will continue to amplify uh, because a lot of people are choosing mastery. You're choosing unity consciousness, constant amplification of the Christ, of those higher frequencies as a way to dissolve the lower illusion altogether. So you have to remember that everything we do moment to moment, our choices, our feelings, our behavior, our actions, everything that we do affects the whole in quantum ways now. That's starting to get turned up. And I hope that that's clear, that the return of unity consciousness is that as we move into pure unity consciousness, the coherent frequencies start to coagulate, right? The higher frequency is constantly pulling, ascending beingness, ascending hearts, pulling them up into that higher frequency if they can maintain it. So we pause 
And we make choices based on freedom. That state of inclusive, unconditional love, expansion, constantly bringing blessings into this realm, constantly making choices based on freedom, right use of life force, non-judgment, train your heart to be an optimal Christ condition during this phase, and truly honor from that neutral point of view, from that zero point, from that source point, honor the uniqueness of all paths to ascension and all soul journeys. And that provides an opening for others to honor our unique path to ascension and our unique soul journey. More tools on how to practice this beautiful method. Set the field for success. First thing in the morning, you always want to use that morning energy. Classic mystery school, right? Classic classic. Uh, mastery practice, use the morning, self-care, meditation, yoga flow, get in nature, use movement, release and clear consistently. Always set, reset your field for having the highest amount of success for your ascension each day. And then use your intention alarm that you lear- learned earlier to uh, remind you, or maybe you've got an automatic clock at this point, Four times a day, resetting your intention, right? Set, reset, clear, evaluate. All of these practices assist in keeping your field neutral so that you can direct the energy. Watch when anxiety, fear, judgment are triggered. And then consistently halt the pathway when the energy is flowing in those directions, when it's drifting toward negative polarity, when things are things that you're doing are adding to the negative fuel or making it worse (laughs) by directing your energies toward things that are trying to steer you in a certain direction or steer you into judging things and parent the flow that is moment by moment whatever it is you're experiencing you're going to have to parent the flow of energy until You are capable of neutralizing and resolving conflict instantly with your Christ itself. So don't carry anything in your field that the negative ego emotions and mind may access. We're taking it to the next level now. Acceptance, surrender, and stepping away while you're neutralizing, while you're getting neutral and returning to your core intentions are good tools to use as you're getting into this going on autopilot. So you're going to have to accept, okay, this is where I am in my journey. I'm learning, wow, a lot of my energy is being directed to things or adding fuel to negative outcomes. Not exactly the highest trajectory to think that everything is going into uh, hell in a handbasket, right? <laughs> Just step step away from that altogether. I know it's a strong program. You're going to have to accept that, okay, maybe I was putting a little energy into that. Surrender. You might have to step away from you know, friends, internet activities on social media, things like that, you know, that are constantly trying to steer you into judgment. You might have to step away while you're learning how to be neutral and return to your core intention of ascending in this lifetime, right? And becoming part of that. Now, feeling the shift within is key. It causes divine neutrality, engaging with returning to zero point, returning to zero point as a way to start feeling how you're going to polarize positive by shifting your energy causes a cascade of changes. You will feel the energy neutralizing negative charges in your fields. When you start feeling, because you're meditating on it, right? You're really feeling into that. There's a a lot more to this class about 
how this is applied. But when you start feeling that undistorted, impenetrable presence in the heart, it starts turning on or rebundling the DNA, the multidimensional crystalline DNA. When you start turning on field nine, you're going to feel it because you're suddenly not capable. You're going to feel that I am not capable of even sending or or feeling or considering creating negativity. You're just not going to feel it, right? All of a sudden it's gone. So your DNA starts to shift. Suddenly you have no desire to judge, comment, fuel distortions, engage with that. You can tolerate it. I have to note, you can tolerate that conversation from others, but you're not going to feel uh, you're, you're not going to feel anything in your field. Like some in the beginning, it might feel irritating, but you can stand there and be completely neutral. It doesn't affect you, may, you know, out of kindness to listening to others, to engaging with others. But you can you can care, but you just don't carry. There is no desire to judge to fix the other person, to engage, to comment. No, that's a a big trigger for social media. You know, suddenly you just, I don't even have to comment negatively, right? You don't have to add to conversations that are obviously going into a dualistic uh, debate, etc. You don't have to fuel distortions. You're going to feel it all of a sudden. That desire is gone. That zero point source Feel the I am presence field of compassion, grace, and love light becomes very strong. It is a very new sensation in consciousness. I would like you to be aware that that new sensation in consciousness is amplifying through those who are embracing mastery right now. So all of a sudden you're feeling very different, very different than the old you. The positive choice, when you're making positive choices, polarizing positive, as we say, becomes very clear. The positive choices become very clear because you're training yourself each moment. Uh, This is the higher choice. That is the higher choice. Okay, let me move in the direction. Stop my thoughts. Stop my emotion. Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm kind of drifting into a negative polarity. Let me pull myself back into neutrality and direct the energy. Qualify. Positive thought, word, action, creation, feeling. Everything that we learned in Level Up about qualifying all of our emanations, it's much easier, much easier to do that the more that we employ this neutrality. You'll feel a distinct departure from the old way of being. You suddenly feel more like your true self. There may be explosions of laughter, literally laughing at the way you used to be, tears of joy, bliss states, a lot of a, a lot of releasing the <laughs> the old self at a whole new level. You know, the beginning was the beginning of releasing the lower self. Now you're releasing the creation that you used up to this point to get through your ascension. And now as we go into this higher state of mastery, it's really a completely different magnetic that is uh, unfolding. So let's just visit polarizing positive, moment-by-moment awareness. Be present with your sacred heart And the divine presence always ask, always ask the Christ itself, the I am presence, what is the highest thing I can do in this now? A lot of the time, it's going to be unconditional love. Just feel unconditional love and gratitude for this situation, for this person, for this feeling, for what you're going through, everything. Really apply your ascension practices Use your decrees. Set your intentions. Really, just this is this is it, right? This is making that next step to polarize positive. We're consistently welcome, welcoming forth the Christ itself, the pure presence of Source, the I Am. Remember 
that this is not one side or the other. It's not negative versus positive. This is a different magnetic. It's allowing the stargate of the heart to open in a different way. So rather than, you know, because sometimes people can feel, oh, it's a pull one way or it's a pull the other way. That's a dualistic positive and negative. This is a different feeling, polarizing positive. And even if you, you know, revisit law of one and all, all of that material that came in about polarizing positive, this is what they're talking about. They're talking about positive dynamics as being the expansion, right? Proper use of life force, expansion. So rather than, because sometimes people can feel uh, I'm leaning one way or the other, that's in the beginning, you're right, you're dropping the magnetic, you know, those first steps in like ascension path, you know, just depolarize, right? Just dropping the magnetics altogether in order to repolarize positive. We're talking about expansion. And a negative polarity, polarity would be something that is consistently qualifying the light for contraction, fear, control, manipulation, greed, things like that, right? Contraction. And you can feel it in the heart. So rather than thinking of it as one way or the other, you can feel feel the um, contraction in the heart, which is a choice, or the expansion, right? The positive polarity is that expansion of the heart, the expansion into limitlessness, into open possibility. So that's what using this new magnetic of the heart, of heart coherence, in order to get all of your fields to flow into expansion. That's what we're talking about. Hope that's clear. So keep it simple until the flow becomes natural. And beloved, you will hit tipping points, several tipping points that are going to click on different parts of your DNA, different energies, and creates that cascade of consistently resetting your fields at a higher level. So keep it simple, step by step until the flow becomes natural. And then the flow feels very coherent in your fields. You're not leaning one way. You're not avoiding, um, yeah, there's, there's this self-judgment of goodness that comes up with people when they're first starting this, you know, you're, uh, trying not to judge yourself as a way to be more good, (laughs) you know, and, uh, there's, there's no, it's, it's not a, a good or a bad thing either, It's really just allowing the Christ to flow so that the higher thing can do its work through you, so it can create your ascension. So these mastery qualities increase the positive charge within your field. And that positive is not a judgment. It's just a qualification of magnetics coming out of the heart center so that this positively charged Pure photonic light can flow through you. So a couple more reminders of polarizing positive. Utilize wisdom based on your heart knowledge, really getting to know unconditional love in a brand new way. Know thy true self. This is, these are core dynamics for flowing the Christ in a consistent way into becoming the presence. Be in the stillness to feel the truth. It's a very divine nature that is stepping forward. Use the self-evaluation answers for perspective on your personal journey of where you are and where you would like to be. Invest more energy, time, action, and practices in amplifying good in amplifying positivity and bringing in that higher light rather than fighting evil, which will 
naturally fighting evil, going into that negative polarity, contraction, right? In order to get your fields to polarize positive, you have to invest more energy, more time, more of your consciousness into amplifying and creating positive qualities, right? Positive qualification of the light rather than fixing, judging, or engaging with uh, any kind of dynamic that is trying to conquer another dynamic, right? Don't watch it burn. Get on with creating the new beingness in this now. And if for some reason you're new to that, Sandra, expression, I always say, don't watch it burn. I was told that 12 years ago. Don't watch it burn. Get on with creating the new in the now because that uh, negative polarity, of course, those negative particles, that negative energy has a shelf life. It's a finite dynamic. It's not expansive. It's not, it's part of source, but it's not where source is going with the ascension. So don't watch it burn. Get on with amplifying the good. And lastly, celebrate your personal victories when you feel it. And when you applied it correctly, celebrate your divine neutrality victories. Journal it, write it down, take yourself out in nature, celebrate, flow gratitude to your divine team, to source itself, to your heart center for getting it right and feeling it so that more energy flows there, right? Creating a pathway for personal victories in the future by celebrating them in the now.